Welcome to my channel, Being You Now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing your three monthly read. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Aries placements, this reading is for you. If this reading doesn't resonate, head over to the videos tab. There might be another reading that is more suitable for your individual circumstance. Now remember, time and energy are fluid and um, place the gender roles where they belong. Now, one thing I want to mention is this is going to be a comprehensive read from give or take. This is happening mid-march so mid-march april may june so mid-june wow so this is the outlook for the next three months for you so let's see what the overall energy for the next three months is what's coming and i'm going to be also pulling cards for abundance money and romance so let's get this party started now, at the split, when I was shuffling your cards, the cards that were on the split were judgment. And um, to me, the judgment card was all about rebirthing. The tower also flew out. So this is big changes that I'm picking up energetically just from the pre-shuffle. Um, but let's see what cards come out. Good stuff. So this final row is going to be good stuff. So no matter what comes out, it's going to be all good stuff. So there was, um, yeah, there's big, big change energy that I picked up in the pre-shuffle. But let's see. So what's coming through? Oh, my goodness. So the overall energy for the next three months is gift from the universe. A brand new opportunity, a golden opportunity. Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. This could be a brand new beginning in a job. So congratulations if you're looking for a work in the next three months. Brand new job, brand promotion. If you're starting a business, that's going to be highly, highly lucrative when the Ace of Pentacles shows up. So if that's what you're desiring. The other thing is, if you're looking for love, um, this is this is a deep level commitment. Oh, I didn't do. So for each of them, I'm also picking up your Oracle messages. Let's do that before I forget. And then that's a lot for the next three months. Messages for the next three months. Okay, let's start with that. In the haste of getting, flipping the cards, because even I want to know what's coming up, I didn't finish shuffling the oracles. Sorry about that. But hey, we got there in time. We got there in time. I feel like there's more than one that wants to come out. Let's see. Yep, two for this. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. What's your divine abundance message? Invite help. So this is Green Tara. So in the next three months, with Green Tara showing up, uh, also with the message of inviting help, collaborate with other people, hire people, get some help. You don't have to do it alone. The reason why we are on this planet and the reason why, we, you know, if you think about it, I don't like talking about the pandemic, but what did we miss most? Human connection, connecting with other people. And when we're inviting help, that's what we're doing. We're opening ourselves up, but we also allow the other person to receive. It's this beautiful dance of give and receive. So this is saying, invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I am... Finally ready, God. Pursue me. I am finally ready. Pursue me. Okay, so let's see. What's after the Ace of Pentacles? The devil. So in the next three months, I feel be careful of addictions. Be careful of any substances. Could be sugar. I'm picking up sugar, sugary drinks. Um, the devil shows up. It can also mean like this is overall energy. Don't get too fixated with money. And maybe that's why the divine abundance message is invite help. Because one of the things with the devil is that now the devil card is also Capricorn energy. But one thing about the devil energy is that it will be, you know, like, say, for example, you were on a health kick, you were on a health routine and all of a sudden like, no, I don't want to go to the gym. I won't work out. I'm not feeling that great. And then one day turns into a couple of days, turns into a week, turns into a month. So just be careful of those sorts of things and also dependencies on other things so say for example you know um having a soft drink has now become having a soft drink every night with dinner or lunch or something like that i'm not saying this is what it is but with the devil energy showing up in the next three months there are going to be temptations it's about whether those temptations are valid and true or whether it's become habitual because when things become a habit you know then that becomes a pattern that's how habits happen whether you're going to the gym and then every day you go to the gym, that's a good habit. A bad habit is you have one soft drink and then it becomes a norm with your meal every day. There's, I'm not, you do what you do. You do you, boo. This is an example. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. <laughs> 
So, um, Eight of Cups. So I feel like somebody here is definitely walking away from a job, job situation or um, a career and walking into either your own business or a new job. So this is you walking away to something that's going to bring more abundance, more prosperity. So claim that. Claim that. Um, and I feel like this opportunity in the next three months, if you didn't do that, this you probably would miss this is also the other thing. Now, be careful with these three cards showing up. This is also talking about should I, shouldn't I? Um, with the devil in the middle, if this is to do with job, if this is to do with business, this could also be your thought, thought patterns. Oh, if I walk away from this job, say you are in a very toxic job environment and you're not, not enjoying it, you're not happy. And you are asking yourself, oh, but if I leave this job, will I get another job? Will I be financially okay? Will I, you know, you're asking yourself all these questions and that's just holding you back in this toxic environment, particularly with the devil. So be careful of your thought patterns as well during this period of time, because that can really impact whether or not you will take steps that will impact your finances, your abundance, your ability to attract. Now, in the next three months, I'm also picking up um, one of the words that's coming is a gift or a legacy or a, you know, it's it's financial help that you didn't. Um, it's like someone has left you money. And not just a little bit of money. I'm picking up thousands, like $1,000, $5,000, something like that. Could also be a grant. So maybe if you are looking to apply for a grant, this could be your confirmation. But that's kind of the vibe I'm picking up here. So I just needed to share that message as it came through. Okay. So let's see what are your love and romance messages. Flat. Yes. Look at that. Have a bit of fun, Aries. Don't be so serious. Particularly all my single Aries out there. There's nothing wrong with putting yourself out there and having a bit of fun if that's what you desire. I'm not talking about casual sex or anything like that. It's just, you know, being in that playful atmosphere, enjoying someone's company, you know. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, I mean, Aries is a very playful, childlike energy and sometimes we forget. How do I know? I'm an Aries. Triple Aries. <laughs> Let your friends help you. So if you are looking to attract love or if you're looking... For romance then let us ask, ask ask your friends to help you they may have they may know people that um may be right for you they may know people that vibe with your energy so it says ask for and accept support from others i mean look there is this big theme of inviting help help doesn't always have to be hiring and paying someone it could also be asking fa family members and friends um and that's kind of the overall energy for the next three months for you I'm going to put them there. Okay, so let's see. Wow, look at this. Four of Wands. This is my happily ever after card. I mean, next to the Ace of Pentacles, this could be you working from home for some of you. This could be you buying a new home or investing in a new home or moving to a new home. This could also be starting a job, uh, starting a job, starting a business with someone um, with the four of pentacles, four of wands, you know, but this is a card of marriage. I can't not say this. This is a card of marriage. This is a card of engagement. This is a card of commitment. So maybe you moving in to your own home with your significant other, you know, or you're bu buying a house together or you're moving in together or something along those lines, particularly with these two cards right next to each other. I do need to share that. I really like that. So this is what's coming towards you. Three of Pentacles. I mean, this is a big, big energy and vibe for you. Three of Pentacles is all about collaboration. It's all about adding that, you know, final touch, that final stroke to the painting that makes it a mega million dollar painting. It's that kind of detail. And the Three of Pentacles is about working with others, you know. So maybe, say, for example, I'll use the painting example and I'm no expert. But um, maybe you find this particular color, colors or type of colors, which is very niche and which is from, you know, someone is making it using organic dyes or whatever, natural, and the colors are so potent and vibrant and you don't need a lot of it, but you, you collaborate with that person and you buy from that person and you just add a few strokes or a couple of strokes in your painting and it just make, gives it this extra va va boom. That's that Three of Pentacles vibe. It's you are supporting that person, but that person is supporting you in your art and craft. Um, that, you know, that's more a service base or um, example. But say you 
you are working for an organization and you have other team members who are great with IT and you need some IT help to make things efficient. Maybe they can do programming and that will make your life so much more efficient. And all of a sudden, your boss re re recognizes you and appreciates you because the work that you've done is not only helping you, but it's also helping the whole team. It's that kind of vibe, but you're working with other people and getting tapping into their expertise. So in the next three months, work with other people. That's going to bring more abundance and wealth, particularly with these two cards right diagonally as well. The more you do that, the more you're going to get that. Okay. Knight of Wands. So there is something happening very, very quickly. I feel like if you are looking for love, moving in and getting engaged, this is happening very, very quickly. The Knight of Wands doesn't wait around. Look at this fiery, feisty energy. Now, this is also Aries Leo energy, Aries Leo, Aries Leo Sage energy, and this is also Aries energy. So there's a lot of your energy showing up in this read, but there's something happening really, really quickly. So maybe you find the dream home quickly or out of the blue you get a proposal from your loved one that you didn't expect or out of the blue your relationship goes to the next level or out of the blue you find the partner that you have been desiring so there's something the energy of you know and of course this period also covers Aries season so we will be well and truly in Aries season which means that you know you will be feeling this energy more being in your season Aries okay so let's see, what have we got in terms of money messages? Feeling greedy. You can have what you want in life without feeling guilty. So your affirmation is, I am worthy of wealth. Claim this in comments. I am worthy of wealth. I think this is, this is the thing, you know, sometimes we forget there's trillions and trillions of dollars that are circulating. So because, just because you want to be rich, just because you want money, doesn't make you greedy, doesn't make you bad, doesn't make you mean anything. It, this the whole thing comes down to worth, comes down to your belief systems. I did an intuitive um, message, um, was it last week or a couple of weeks ago? I can't remember. Just go and check in the videos tab, you'll find it. It's on the channel. That is a game changing money message. Um, so go check it out. It is, you know, and if you want to work with me or regarding money, just hashtag money. I will send you the information on how you can connect with me. Your second money affirmation money is evil this is the most common in all the money work i've done pretty much every single car client at some level thinks money is the root of all evil it is it is ingrained from you know past lives could be from generations could be from parents could be from childhood that money is the root of all evil this is such a common belief system and it keeps people stuck and it keeps people small so if you want to work on your belief systems, just hashtag money with me. I am offering coaching sessions for that. So if you'd want to work with me, just hashtag money and I'll send you the info. You can do a lot of good and help others with money. And this is the thing. Money is not the money gives you op opportunity. Money gives you options. So your affirmation is I am generous with money. Claim this in comments. I am generous with money. For those of you that want to work even deeper, as it relates, I'm going to bring these guys here so you can see um, all the messages. Um, just trying to do that. Just making sure so you can see and affirm to cards. As you know, if you've been in my world, I like to show you the cards so you can do your thing and I can do my thing and everyone's happy. There you go. So, um, yeah, if you want to work with me on money at a deeper level, I've got a program, four-week program, which is Money Mind Reset. We go through every single thing. It's like, you know, when you go sewing, it's like unstitching all this stuff that's not helping you. We go through everything. You will be surprised. You will be liberated. You'll be so free at the end of these four weeks. Trust me. So what good stuff coming? Hierophant. I mean, these three cards, definitely marriage for somebody. I can't. I know my Aries is like, oh, but I'm not looking to get married. Well, somebody is getting married. This is a big group. There's a lot of you. So, you know, I, whilst a lot of you don't believe in love, there's someone getting married. Congratulations. I hope that I'm getting a wedding invite. This four of wands, Hierophant with Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. And uh, this is you taking the next step in your relationship. This is beautiful. Now, with the heart, with the same three cards, this could be you building your own structure financially in your business. So 
finally you're completing, you know, you've reached that completion where you are working and becoming your own boss and you've created your own structure about how you want to earn and make your money. So that's also possible for somebody here, but this is just magnificent. Now, the other thing here, there is somebody definitely walking away from a job, um, walking away from a job with the Harafin, and it could be to do with, you know, either the structure, the culture, maybe the culture of the organization wasn't vibing with you. Maybe um, the people with the Three of Pentacles, this right here, could be there was toxic environment. Your colleagues weren't, you know, backing you up, championing you, or maybe there was whatever it was. But these three cards right here, this is why you had to walk away because something about the culture, or maybe it was just the hierarchy. There was too many hierarchies, you know, in the organization structure, which meant that, you, whilst you feel like you want to make progress, it was just too bureaucratic. It was just too difficult because that can also be in terms of the negative aspect. But this isn't the good stuff. So to me, this is saying you're freeing yourself. If I look at it from this way, this angle, eight of cups, three of um, pentacles and the hierophant. To me, this is saying you are building your own structures. You're building your own ways of doing things. You So this isn't the good stuff. So this is great. You are building it your way. You don't have to be feeling restricted or that this is the only way of doing things okay seven of cups so this isn't the good stuff so if you feel like oh i don't have any job options i don't have any you know um opportunities at the moment so the seven of cups in the good stuff to me is saying that you will have a lot of options be in the energy of abundance not in lack and scarcity be in the vibe and energy of there is more than enough. There's lots of jobs that are being advertised every single day and there are, you have options. You don't only need to do this. And I feel Aries, a lot of you are multi-talented, particularly with the three of pentacles. You are so talented that even if you feel like, you know, there's a lot of competition or whatever, you will end up getting the job because you're so talented with this three of pentacles. There is something about you. You have the X factor in your craft, in your skill that's going to make you stand out in the next three months so this is amazing and let's not forget we did have the ace of pentacles so if this is to do with money if this is to do with career if this is to do with job aries you are going to be fine that's what i'm picking up here just based on the cards and you can see them eight of pentacles again i just mentioned this there is something about you that is going to bring you a lot of recognition in these ne next three months yes there will be hard work i won't i won't sugarcoat it i won't downplay it because um, eight of pentacles is a card of hard work but it is also a card of rewards it's a, it is also a card of recognition and i think a lot of times we don't realize that but this is in the good stuff so in the good stuff the eight of pentacles showing up to me is saying that your bosses peers there is they will recognize the work you've been doing particularly if you've been so busy 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 you know having your head down bum up that you didn't even get an opportunity to look up a bit like the figurine here he, he's got all these pentacles but he hasn't realized because he's just busy going next 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 and he's making them better and better and better and getting quicker and quicker and quicker and more efficient now in regards to your money wealth and finances what i will say is the next three months look at this your next three months you are going to be financially you'll be fine your next three months, money is not going to be a problem. Money will be flowing in easily and effortlessly. You will be employed if you are looking for work. There will be job opportunities and you will stand out. There is something about this reading with the three of pentacles and eight of pentacles. There is something about you, your resume, the way you present yourself, your skill set that's, that makes you stand out from the rest of the applicants. And that's what's going to bring the bacon or the job offer or the promotion and so this is very important for you if you are my driven Aries that are always saying I am focusing on my career I'm focusing on my business now if you're looking to start a new business it's going to be it will require work I'm not going to sugarcoat it eight of pentacles it will require work but you will be rewarded so if your question is should I start being you now should I start my business I have this passion project Yes, there will be work. You will need to put in the hours. You will need to put in the effort, but you will be rewarded and compensated for it. So I do need to mention that. Overall, I'm really loving these next three months. I mean, there's a lot of, there is a bit of balance. It's not overly a love reading. I mean, some of you could be walking away from a love, love, you know, romantic partner with these two cards. 
Um, maybe you've walked away recently or quite a while, quite, you know, months or years ago even. And now in these next three months, you finally feel that and there is no energetic con connection. There is no energetic pull. There is, you know, you finally feel free. It's like you've released yourself from this thing. Um, for some of you, it could have been to do with a third party situation. Um, I just need to put that out there. But overall, I don't see a lot of love. And what I do see for love is quite positive. I mean, we saw this right at the start. Like, you can't get more positive than this when it comes to um, love, romance, weddings, engagement, deep level of commitment. So, but money-wise as well, great read career-wise, business-wise. What an epic, 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 amazing three months coming ahead for you, Aries. Now, I am running a manifestation ritual. Only a few days are remaining now, a couple of days before the registrations close. If you'd like to be part of that, this is the full moon happening during Aries season. There's only one full moon during Aries season. If you want to be part of this manifestation ritual, it is just hashtag full moon in comments or head to the communities tab for information. Let me tell you a little bit about it because it is important. It is very rare to have two eclipses during any season any airy season we are not blessed with one but we're blessed with two eclipses so aries we are having a full moon eclipse in aries season on the 25th and this manifestation ritual is all about shedding light on all the things that you want and during eclipses the energy is amplified so whatever you want to manifest can come to you quicker so i just need to explain it because a lot of people don't understand how all this works and then we have a solar eclipse happening in the new moon in Aries on the 9th of April. So it, it this, there is this, what I, why I'm sharing this is because there is this vortex that is created between these two eclipses, which happen to be happening during Aries season, no less. And what happens during that time is the energy is supercharged and amplified. So whatever you want to manifest and create, that is amplified and expanded so when you work with energies where the, the the energy is so potent so high vibe so amplified so do your manifestations so it's almost like you're putting say for example you go to the post office to post something you have the option to do express post or you can do normal post and if you're doing international say your item is going to arrive in three months time because it's going via email right for normal posts if you do parcel post but if you do express post, it's like it's going to be delivered in eight, nine days. Now, I'm just using this as an analogy. Folks, <laughs> this is an example. So this is what happens during eclipse season. The more you work with the energy when it's so potent, so high vibe and, and like amplified, your manifestations have the ability to come quicker, faster and delivered to you. So that is why it is so important when these eclipses happen. People don't really understand. They're like, oh, there was an eclipse. Oh, you know, go and take a look. But you don't really understand the energetics of what is happening. This is about the shadow and the light. And with the manifestation ritual that I have downloaded, it is going to be shedding light, even in times of shadow. And the other important information that I want to share during Aries season is that there is going to be Mercury retrograde. So it's going to be even more important that if you are wanting things, you know, you want to make sure that things keep ticking along because life doesn't stop just because there's Mercury retrograde. Okay, so, there, so there's that. For those of you that are desiring to connect with me for a live tarot reading, the information is in the pinned comment. And I'm also offering, as I said, money coaching. So a lot of people, they want to do the money mind reset, but they don't want to commit for four weeks. Well, I'm offering one of money coaching sessions. If you like that, hashtag money in comments. There is a lot going on um, and I have been guided to help the collective at a deeper level. So as I am growing, evolving and ascending and up leveling continuously, I am being called to offer my support to those that desire to get to the next level because there's no point in me just growing, growing, growing and keeping all the knowledge to myself. I want to be able to support and help those that also want to be on a similar journey and want to grow and ascend and shift along the way for themselves, their loved ones, and for the collective. So that's just a little bit of all the things, right? Aries, thank you from the bottom of my heart.
for being here. What an epic, amazing three months coming our way. I am super excited. Let me know what resonated most for you and what you're excited about most. And remember, Aries, the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.